Thank you for introduction. And I, want, and I also want to say thank you to Mr. Stephen Keys for helping us these days. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. As the title shows today, I would like to introduce time division multiplexing parallax barrier based on barrier co uh, primary colors. My name is Chu Zhang, and I'm from the University of Tsukuba, Japan. I will start from the background. As introduced in the first presentation, presentation of this session, conventional parallax barrier is easily attachable and has already been used in some of the products. However, it suffers from two main issues, low, position, low resolution preview and narrow viewing zone. The first issue can be resolved by time division multiplexing, TDM, parallax barrier, or ultra high resolution panels. Well, how tracking is regarded as a helpful way for the second issue. By tracking the position of the viewer and adjusting the barrier accordingly, sweet spots can be increased. However, since the range of each sweet spot is very narrow, both high precision and short response time are required for the involved head tracking. Furthermore, barrier panels made of LCDs can be adjusted smoothly since they have a minimum limit of one pixel. So as shown here, some of the areas can't be covered perfectly. So perfectly contiguous viewing zone is impossible. We have been working on the high quality ultrasquareoscopy system based on TDM parallax barrier, which shows four panel resolution per view and holds contiguous viewing zone with common head tracking involved. And here is a method. First, we set the aperture ratio to one quarter, so the system will be a four view system. Then, with quadruple TDM applied, full resolution per view can be achieved where one frame shows one quarter of the resolution and four frames show the complete full view. So here is the full view. If we apply the left image of a stereo pair to the left viewpoints DC and show the right one to the viewpoints BA, the system will turn to a two view system with a wider viewing zone. In detail, the viewing zone of each, for each eye can be determined by these lines. And now it is plain to see if we set the distance between A and C to the eye distance, the widest, widest viewing zone will be achieved where the width of the sweet spot is half the eye distance. And the viewing zone of autoscariscopy will be like this, in a diamond shape. So we define the, the ideal view distance to D0, as D0, D0. Then, the viewing zone of this system can be extended to two-thirds D0 to twice the D0, as shown here. And now, just imagine we have a head tracking, head, head, head tracking and shift the barrier by one pixel. You may see from here, the joining two viewing zones share enough space so that Contiguous viewing zone is available. We carried out a prototype based on two LCDs, and the specifications are listed here. We also used an AMD GPU, which supports iFinity technology and DisplayPort to ensure that images on two panels 
are strictly synced. And as a result, contiguous viewing zone without crosstalk has been achieved with common head tracking involved. However, in this system, flickers stand out. It's widely known that a, fresh rate, a refresh rate of 240 hertz is required for flickerless quadruple TDM. Well, such LCDs, LCDs are still rare at this moment. So we proposed an improvement called one pixel aperture based on sensory property to remove flickers. You may refer to our last paper to find the details of this method. So here's the squat structure of the improved system. You may see some adjustments here, like the order of the, barrier, uh, of the panel, and also we insert a diffuser here. But the main concept of the proposed method has been kept. Since this barrier type uses a barrier laid like white, black, 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 we call this barrier type WKKK. With this WKKK system, high quality autostereoscopy has been achieved, but still one issue remains. In the current system, when the viewer blinks or takes a saccard, uniform stripe pattern will be seen as shown in this picture. In such situations, humans become more sensitive to 60 hertz change, where the pattern from two frames will be striking in this system. As you see, WKKK plus KWKK create a WWKK, a uniform pattern. This kind of noise is similar to flickers, where a lack of refresh rate takes place. So to weaken the striped noise, we propose parallax barrier based on TDM anaglyph. As you see here, we use a barrier laid like green, black, magenta, black, and we call it GKMK. It also takes four frames to show four complete views, but the pattern from two frames turned to GGMM. It is widely known that humans' perception of luminance depends on RGB components, respectively. And from the percentage, we may estimate the luminous distribution of the stripes like this. It is plain to see green and magenta hold closer luminance and may show weaker stripe noise. Here shows the result. By using green magenta and glyph, stripe noise becomes much weaker. However, using anaglyph increases crosstalk. As shown here, when showing alphabets A and B as a stereo pair, a ghost of V will be seen from a sweet spot of A. RGB color filters on LCDs share certain range of wavelengths, as shown in this graph, which means that they can separate colors clearly. If you define the shared areas as P, Q, then the crosstalk quantity of each anaglyph mode can be estimated like this. It is plain to see 
the mode we used holds the largest crossover quantity. On the other hand, red and blue anaglyph shows less crosstalk, but since the range of wavelengths is narrow, the crosstalk will have a certain color tone. So for a short summary, it seems that a trade-off between crosstalk and stripe noise exists, and it's difficult to deal with the two issues at the same time. So we would like to propose a method which may bring more balanced results. And here is a new method. We call it Paris Barrier based on primary colors. As you see it here, it holds a barrier laid like R, G, B, K. And it also takes four frames to show four complete views. Since we show the same images to A, B, and C, D, the color filtering in this system will be like this. Only red, cyan, anaglyph, and yellow, blue, anaglyph takes place. So we can estimate the quantity of crosstalk of each pixel, like this. Then the average crosstalk will be like this. It's plain to see, compared to green, magenta, and glyph, crosstalk becomes much less, and also stays away from color tone. On the other hand, the pattern from two frames has a luminous, has luminous values jump, so maybe strong, relatively strong stripe noise may take place. In this kind of barrier type, by changing the order of the colors, results may change. You may see from here, the RGBK alignment shows less crosstalk, where another type, RBGK, will show less stripe noise, like here. You may see luminous distribution is even, and relatively, relatively weaker stripe noise may take place. But on the other hand, crosstalk may increase a bit. We carried out an experiment to find how the barrier types work. And the, f the following five barrier types have been involved in this experiment. First, crosstalk. The detailed information on this experiment is listed here. And the result is here. You may see without anaglyph, the mark is highest. And with green magenta, the mark is lowest. And the newly proposed method, RGBK, shows high mark as expected. Then stripe noise. You may see from here, the modes R, G, and R, B, G, K show close marks. So we can see human beings may, you know, can't tell a difference when the stripe noise gets, get weak, gets weak. Then we show the two results on one graph. Maybe not perfectly, but you can see a trade-off exists here. And the newly proposed methods based on primary colors, RGBK and RBGK, 
together with the R mode, they all show more balanced results. And among, the, um, among them, RGBK is considered to be more practical since it shows less crosstalk. Here's a conclusion. For the future, we are co we're considering, considering to use displays with higher refresh rate, since LCDs with refresh rate of 144 hertz have already appeared on markets. That's all. Thank you for your attention.